Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then hi, happy welcome. Today we're doing something a little bit different and a little bit more chill. So I actually noticed recently while filming some other videos, for example, my Kardashian latex lookbook and all of my Halloween videos recently that I seem to have forgotten how to walk in high heels which is a skill that I really prided myself on ever since I was about 14 years old I have been very good with my balance and at walking in high heels but when um you know COVID came along and meant that I haven't actually really left the house on the nightlife kind of scene since January, I really hadn't worn high heels except to take those pictures and photos. Or the one night I actually did leave the like leave my apartment wearing heels was on my birthday, and I just walked from the apartment to the taxi, and then the taxi to the restaurant. You know, like I, I did, wasn't like walking around much. We went out for dinner. So essentially, in today's video, I just want to run you through like maybe a week or two weeks, do a few little episodes of relearning how to walk in high heels so maybe anyone out there who is either you know maybe you're young and you're not used to wearing heels yet or maybe you're just you know like me have just kind of forgotten how to walk confidently in the shoes then maybe this will help you out okay so the first pair of shoes i'm going to be practicing in are these ones of course some nice red stilettos oh there goes one they're not crazy high they don't have a platform but as you can see that angle is um a little bit intense so I'm going to put these on and essentially just wear them around the house until I kind of get the hang of it again. I apologize in advance for any of the weird angles of filming this but my camera actually broke last week and I'm filming on my phone and my phone does not connect to my tripod so <laughs> until I get either a phone attachment or a new camera I'm really just trying to make do with what I've got. okay and that the um, sound is alright because again I'm kind of far away from the camera right now to be able to get my shoes in the clip but I'll just kind of show you what it feels like to naturally walk in them right now so like it's not awful I'm not like falling over but it's definitely a bit clunky so I think I just need to wear them in and like re get used to having them on my feet. I remember when I was younger, I always used to think like you had to walk heel toe. So I would focus so much on that. Honestly, like the walking forward is fine, but then it's like the changing direction. So I get kind of like if I were to walk and then like hit it. Okay, no lies, it's been like five minutes and I already feel like my feet are sore. So that is not a good sign and that really just shows how out of practice I am at this whole high heels thing. So take this, so take this as your sign to go get your shoes out and wear them around your house and just break them in again because if you're not used to wearing them, next time you go out in them, not only are you going to look like a bit of a fool, but you're also going to be in a lot of pain, so it's time practicing again now. Now 
Now, if you thought that my red heels were intense, well, maybe those are the granddaddy of shoes, which are my pleaser boots. These are intense. And honestly, the heel of them is pretty similar, but then the fact that it's a boot, it's PVC, it comes all the way up this high. Like, honestly, they'll probably come up to here when I put them on. And then there's a giant zip down one side. So these have the added difficulty of um, lack of mobility, but they do look amazing. So, mm, is it worth it? Most would argue yes, but if you're going for comfort, then these are not the shoes for you. Whew. Now that they're on, it is time to try to stand up. Honestly, this probably would have looked better if I wasn't wearing my black leggings, but they look cute with the red ones. Now it's going to be kind of hard to see where the boot ends and I can't start. Oh. Give me a second. So again, they look incredible. But as far as walking in them, bending is um is difficult. Ugh, like this is uncomfortable. It's already easier than it was the first time I put them on, so they do warm up and loosen up a little but these babies are tight and stiff the other issue i found with these is that they like are slipping. I think that might just again be because they're new, so like scratching them up on the bottoms can really help with grip. Um, but they're new, like that just kind of breaks my heart a little bit because it's like my brand new shoe now has like scratches on them, but it like really helps to stop them from sliding around on the floor. Oh, they go to the ankle again. Again, it's the turns. That seemed to get me. I think walking I'm okay with, it's like, I want to be dancing. Then I would have a problem. <laughs> I'm trying to kick myself in the butt, but I just can't quite get there. <laughs> okay, so I am officially back. It has been a while. Let's just say it's been like a week or maybe two weeks. We just had Black Friday and I was honestly planning to have this video up on Black Friday, but clearly that didn't happen, so it's actually like Wednesday now. We're into December, and here I am still filming the outro. But considering I made you wait a little bit longer than I had anticipated, here I am in my cat suit. Everyone's favorite outfit. I was actually just taking some pictures for my other sites. I'm not going to say them out loud because then this video will get flagged and demonetized, but if you want to see more photos of me in this cat suit as well as videos and all that kind of good content then check the description box down below as well as the pinned comment i will leave some links down there to take you to the other places you have to go to see more of this but i was just taking pictures in my cat suit and my <laughs> pleaser boots and thought what better time than now than to film the end of this video i'm not gonna lie i haven't been practicing that much walking in my heels, but I would still say that practice is the number one tip for getting better at walking in heels. I just haven't really been doing it, especially not with these boots because they're quite uncomfortable and tight and restrictive. Like I think I mentioned this already, but it's not like I can bend my knees that much. Like that's about as, like as far as it goes. 
I was lying down on the floor taking some pictures before and like bending my, knee, my knees up to try and create like a cool silhouette, but I literally couldn't like bring my feet anywhere near my butt because they just, there was just no motion because of the, um, like the boot in my knee. Anyway, that was a long way of explaining that. These are extra difficult to wear just like on the day to day. Not only is it very, would it be very inappropriate, I guess, to wear these just to the supermarket? I mean, you do what you want to do, but for me personally, I'm not going to just be wearing them on a day-to-day -day basis. And again, clubs and stuff aren't open right now. So for me, there's not really many opportunities to wear them out of the house, but around here, I could definitely be practicing more at night. But as far as like my little stilettos go, I definitely will start wearing those at home, even just sitting at my desk. Cause I feel like if I'm just like sitting down doing some work, why not wear my heels, wear them in a bit, then every time I get up to go to the bathroom or go to the fridge, things like that. It's just like that little bit of motion that will keep getting my feet used to them again and getting my posture right and all that kind of thing. So that's definitely a tip if you want to get used to wearing heels, is just to wear them around your house as much as possible, even if you are sitting down for most of the day, like if you're working from home, why not dress up in your nicest heels and wear them at your desk? No one's going to see them, so it doesn't really matter but that way when you do wear them out of the house you're gonna look like a pro walking in them the other thing of course is just to walk heel toe heel toe i feel like everyone says that and it is true walk heel toe try to keep your feet in front of each other as much as possible walking in a straight line hold your posture up i feel like my posture is pretty good considering i did <laughs> classical ballet lessons for 14 years of my life which is a long long last time but i did love it so you know standing up nice and tall as if you were balancing something on your head and try to walk like that and lastly confidence is key number one thing is to walk with confidence yes you might stumble you want to make sure you're still looking at the ground ahead of you subtly so that you know if there's any bumps or steps and things like that but if you're walking around looking like on the floor crazily like looking all nervous and scared then it's going to be pretty obvious that you don't know what you're doing in your shoes and your ankles are probably going to start wobbling too and it's just going to look like a mess so you have to try and at least act a little bit confident but again, again if you're walking outside or on terrain that you're unfamiliar with definitely be cautious of looking where you're going but I'm going to show you a little bit of my walking now and hopefully it's a little bit better than the start of this video but again I have not practiced as much as I thought I would but you know maybe I can do an update in a little while over on my Instagram or I can make another video let me know. <laughs> wearing this cat suit was probably not a great idea for this video because this adds an extra layer of difficulty being that the fabric wants to rub together at my thighs. If you have much thinner legs than me and a considerable thigh gap then you might not have this problem but, but my thighs like to touch and even though this outfit as well as these boots are really holding my thighs together and compressing them as much as they can, if I walk in a straight line they are still rubbing. So if you're wearing like normal clothes, this is not gonna be a problem. But if you're wearing this, which is a catsuit from Honor UK, I can link my video down below where I tried it on for the first time, as well as the haul where I go through the pricing, sizing, all that good info and link all the links in the description box. I will have that link down below, so go check that out if you haven't already seen it. But yeah, the katsu and the boots paired together is a very statement look, but not the most comfortable for walking in. But that is something I'm going to need to practice for my videos, in photos, and if I ever actually do any photo shoots like out in public. But um, when I'm just doing it in my bedroom, it doesn't really matter that much because no one's seeing it except for me and my man. So, let's get to practicing again.
last thing before I finish this video off, the one thing I actually have been doing a little bit of is like dancing. Because again, if you're trying to wear your shoes, whether it's the like the super intense boots or just the stilettos that you're uncomfortable with, if you're planning on wearing them out to a club when they do reopen and or do any kind of party or event, maybe over the holiday season where dancing is involved, you definitely want to practice that at home, which I know can be a little bit awkward. You're like, what am I going to do? Just dance by myself. But yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Put some music on, put on your favorite song, wear some kind of outfit that would resemble what you would wear out and about. One, it's really fun. Two, it's actually a surprisingly good workout. And three, you need to practice the movements that you're planning to do out in public because if you suddenly go out after not wearing your high heels for months and then start trying to, you know, dance to your favorite song, chances are you're gonna either make a fool of yourself or have to take your shoes off and dance barefoot. And one, that's just kind of gross, but two, it can actually be really dangerous if you're out at a like public event where there could be glass on the floor and things like that. You just don't want to risk their feet on the floor or if you are at a club then it's like you know you're not allowed to take your shoes off for that exact reason so practice dancing it's fun it's good practice of like walking standing and just like weird ankle movements that will really just get your balance back in order in your shoes so yeah i think that's gonna be it for the video for today because i do have to get back to my mini photo shoot and actually eat some dinner sometime tonight but i do hope you enjoyed this video Again, if you want to see more content like this, I will have some literally 30 more seconds, but no, they have to come in the garage. So again, if you do want to see more content like this, then give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel. I will also link my Instagram and all my other social media accounts in the description box down below if you want to go see me elsewhere, follow me on my other platforms. But yeah, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next Friday with a brand new year.